This video is for adult collectors. Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Beyblade X Viper Tail Random Booster. So, I'm going to show you guys the box first, as I usually do at the start of my reviews. Here's the front of the box, here's the side showing an advertisement for the app. And here's the other side. Uh, some more Japanese, I don't understand on the bottom. And on the back, you see a barcode. I got this off of Amazon. I actually bought three of these off of Amazon. Uh, here's a picture of who I think uses this Beyblade in the anime. And uh, you can see on the top the three possible Beyblades you can get in this set. Uh, the set. Uh, no. Number one is the Chase Beyblade from the set, and the other two are uh, variants of Viper Tail. So what's good is you're guaranteed a Viper Tail, since all three of these have the same blade. So, so I got three of these. I put them all in uh, this box. So let's open it up. Let's see. Yeah, this is actually managed to... Uh, hold on, get the other one up here. To pull two of the uh, Chase Viper Tail, which is good. Uh, this is uh, the actual... Uh, so I made a new combo with this. So I'll put a stamina tip on this because I didn't want to have two of the same... Uh, exact same Beyblade. And this is the uh, tip it comes with. So, yeah... It, so this is the, it's the regular version of the Chase Beyblades. There's more color variation here compared to the other two Beyblades. I actually have one of the other two as well. So this is one of the other two. Uh, the stamina type, because of how sharp the tip is, it's a bit tall, just like the Knight Lance Beyblade that... Uh, Uh, the green one from a booster pack. So yeah, definitely more color variation with this one compared to the its variant. Uh, here we can see uh, it's just yellow and blacks. One. Uh, well, I say different shades of yellow. This one's uh, you got red and yellow eyes and some blue around it. Yeah, definitely uh, more contrast, more color variation with this one. Before I start testing, I did want to uh, go over some news that at least me and some of my subscribers find interesting uh, so hasbro has announced transformers beyblade x crossover tops in the previous transformers fan stream they're available on amazon uh, as you can see i uh, purchased one shortly after they were revealed this is what they look like so uh, scroll down uh, as you can see it's available on Amazon uh, for about $25 here's a picture of what they look like let's take a closer uh, look it's unfortunate they don't come with the uh, bigger launcher which uh, Gives me twice as much spinning power when I pull the ripcord. These are just like the small white ripcord launcher that came with. I think the only time it came out in Japan was with the uh, original drawn sword. I mean, sword drawn. I mean, that's what it's going to be called when we get it over here. So it looks like Optimus is a slight redesign of Helm Knight. Uh, Megatron seems to be. Uh, use an entirely new blade. So here's a pic closer look of what they look like. 
So, yeah, here's the box. It looks very cool. Uh, here are the parts they use. There's also going to be another two pack with Optus Primal and Starscream. Uh, you may recall Starscream did actually appear in an episode of Beast Wars where he possessed Waspinator. So, here's a closer look at the designs. Optimus Primal uh, is using the Shark Edge design, which is really good because we don't. Because uh, Shark Edge was actually uh, Chase Beyblade in the first random booster. And also, the only other time he came out was with that three pack with uh, uh, Dagger Drawn. So. It's not the easiest Beyblade to get, so glad this design is being reused here. And Starscream is using a slight redesign of Arrow Wizard. So just put a look at the box. Uh, here are the parts they use. All right, time to start testing. I'm mainly going to go over these two Beyblades since these are the ones you get out of the box. Uh, I'm not going to go over the other one, and also the other one is just me putting a shorter stamina tip on the Chase Beyblade. So this time I'm using a launcher, which I haven't exactly shown on my channel. Uh, it's basically two uh, Wonder launchers uh, put together. This is using a piece I got uh, from Noozle 3D. Uh, Ilanuk has a video on his channel where he talks about launchers and how he bought this additional piece from them uh, to put two launchers to because no matter how quickly I launch uh, two Beyblades in succession, one of them will uh, catch the rail first. And that wastes a lot of the spinning power it gets from the accelerator dash. It happens before I launch the uh, second Beyblade in there. Uh, also, there's a connector piece for the winders uh usually with this you want the you want to put the winders in here through this notch here and you want uh the notch facing outward uh, so that when you pull it's not uh, coming off this off the winders so for defense and stamina types i think the winder is the best way to get the most out of those Beyblades, so I can basically just pull as hard as I want, uh, though it is uh, a lot more difficult uh, pulling two at once. So first Bay I'm going to test out is Viper Tail and uh, Strong Sword from the first Random Booster. Let's try these out. Tails the winner. Next, I'll try it against Helm Knight, uh, stamina type. Here. Looks like Viper Tail is going to win again. Seems to be pretty good. Alright, so let's try... Uh, uh, Helm Knight. Uh, this one's using a, the gear ball bit. So uh, this is sort of a, uh, a... Again, a unique combo I made. Because I got a bunch of these Helm Knights and these gear balls, so... Uh, I mean multiple 
of the same Beyblade with the gear ball. So I just decided to uh, do a new combination. So it doesn't going to have two of the exact same Beyblade. Because if I use two of the exact same Beyblade, I don't really know which one wins. Even if I'm using different launchers. I mean, now then, let's continue. Oof. Gear ball. Helm Knight won that one. Let's do Wizard Arrow. And I believe this... Uh, hold on. Yeah, this has a gear ball. Bit two. Right. Oh my god. Uh, Wizard Arrow bursted, so... Alright, let's try it against a defensive version of Helm Knight. Let's do this. Oof. Uh, Viper Tail got knocked out. Now let's try it out against a defensive version of Wizard Arrow. Viper tails tilting too much. Who All right. Let's try. And this is a wizard arrow with the same uh, stamina type tip as Rhino Horn. Let's do this. It's like Viper tail is spinning strong in here. completely unexpected. Right? Uh, this is uh, just regular defensive wizard arrow. I mean, stamina type. Alright, let's try this. Oof. All right, so we put it uh, against uh, Wizard Arrow. Uh, they're both using the Storm Sword Tip. Unfortunately, this one uh, got damaged. Uh, this was actually originally from the uh, Sphinx Cowl. Okay, let's put these to the test. Dang. So. Uh, wins by knockout. All right, now let's pit it against uh, Rhino Horn. Looks like it's going to be close. So, cast out against this version of Scythe Incendio. It was sort of a weak launch for Viper Tail, so I'm going to try again. All right.
Ooh. Seem to be pretty even. Alright, let's do Night Lance. Against uh, Snight Lance, it's a gear ball tip. So, oh uh, I'll do Sphinx of Cowl. Uh, this one is actually using the Viper Tail from the other. Uh, chase version because uh, I said the one that came with this one was damaged. Let's put these to the test and we'll see which one prevails. Alright, All right, so now let's test out Fiber tail against some more aggressive bays. So we've got uh, Gale Wyvern. Uh, and I think the best way to use this is the string launcher. So it's supposed to give uh, more control over it so it doesn't uh, accidentally go into one of the pockets or land outside. Let's do this. Oof. That was quick. Before I move on, I almost forgot to test these two uh, Viper Tails against each other. You know, the ones with different tips. Anyways, let's try again. The Double Winder Launcher. Looks like the combo I made. One. Right. So now let's test out Viper Tail against a Rhino Horn. It's got a balance type tip. This one. Test out Viper Tail against the mighty Phoenix Wing. Oops. Bay. Right now, let's try uh, Scythe and Cindio. <laughs> well, that was quick. How about let's do Chain and Cindio? Let's see. Whoops. Ah, uh, off. Try this again. Looks like Viper Tail is pretty tough. Let's see. Try it 
try that again. Uh, it's against the uh, Night Lance. Attack type. Let's try this again. Oh, I don't keep getting accidents like that. All right, let's do this. Leopard Tail, last in Night Lance. I'll do it against uh, Sphinx Cowl. Let's try this again. Sphinx Cow won that one. Let's see if let's do Leon Claw next. Um, ironically, I'm using the launcher that Leon Claw comes with on the other Beyblade. That was another quick one. Let's see. All right, then we'll do Helm Knight. It's the balanced version. Fiber Tail has got its fair share of using the accelerator rail, so I'm just going to use the uh, double string launcher this time. So, so again, this piece is off Doozle uh, 3's website. They're in Florida, so it, uh, so it took a while for these pieces to get here, but got them, uh, got them now. I'm going to put it against Wizard Arrow, same bit as Phoenix Wing. Or I should say Phoenix Feather. That's what it's going to be called when it gets over here. I mean, when Hasbro releases their version. Oh my god, that was brutal. Alright, then I got a... Stamina, no, I mean balanced version of uh, Wizard Arrow. I mean Arrow Wizard. Uh, that's what's going to be called. So. Ball rolling on these guys. Oh, wait. Oh, wrong Beyblade. Right, let's do this. Fiber Tail's gonna win this one. It's still not wobbling as much as Wizard Arrow. Let's pit Fiber Tail against Chalk Edge. Oh my god. Uh, that was really brutal. I guess Shark, I mean, Optus Prime will be a good Beyblade when it comes out. It pretty much uses the same blade as this one. All right, now let's pit Viper Tail against the uh, OG Dronzer. Got it. 
can't believe it happened again. All right. Let's begin sword drawn. Viper Tail's got this, because once uh, attack type starts wobbling, it doesn't take long for it to stop spinning. Oh, that was pretty close. Alright, let's, let's do um, Drawn Dagger. That was close, but fiber tail definitely got that one. Got that one. So, right, let's try out the other viper tail uh, before we get to that. Let's pit these uh, two against each other. Oh my god. Uh, let's try the um, Viper Tail combo I made. Uh, the gold one is slightly taller, so let's see what the result of that is. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Again. Definitely much smoother launch than last time. Alright, so once again, the sword drawn with the defensive tip. Oh, whoops, fell off. Usually when it bursts, I take out the spinning bay first, because it takes longer to get the other pieces out. Alright, so I'm going to test it out the Stamina Helm Knight. Try this again. Ouch. All right, how about Gearball Helm Knight? Whoops. Seems to be a tie. Let's see. How about your ball wizard arrow? Oops. All right. That one out. Uh, a defensive helm knight. Let's do this. Oh my god. Let's 
try against a defensive Helm Knight. against a defensive wizard arrow. Oh my god. Alright, so this is uh Arrow Wizard, uh, tip from Rhino Horn. Right, now we got uh, Wizard, I mean Arrow Wizard Stamina. Alright, got the um, Arrow Wizard with the same bit as the other Viper Tail. Okay, so I think uh, Fiber Tail wins that one. Usually, burst Wincon uh, fails over any other. Let's try against the Rhino Horn. Town put against uh, Scythe Incendio, defensive version. Now I'm going to try against uh, Nightlands. From the Beyblade X booster pack. All right, I'm going to pit against the Gear Ball version of Night Lance. Try Sphinx Cowl. Right, now let's test out against uh, Gale Wyvern. Let's get this. Against Helm Knight, it's a balanced version. Let's do this. really 
really great about this uh, new Beyblade X Stadium. I've said this before in my previous videos. It really gives uh, attack and stamina, I mean balance types, better chance of striking out the other types of bays that usually spin in the middle. So it's against uh, Arrow Wizard, with the same tip as Phoenix Feather. Do this. Whoops. This is a balanced version of Arrow Wizard. So, this. against Shark Edge. Once again. Whoops. That was too hard. Once again. Shark Edge is really powerful bay, it seems. Let's try a Rhino Horn with stamina, I mean, bounce type tip. Getting stamina and bounce confused. Let's do this. <laughs> My knockout. Test out against the Almighty Phoenix Feather. All right, Hit it against the regular version of Scythe Incendio. And Chain Incendio. Test against uh, Leon Claw. And once again, I'm going to be uh, using the launcher comes with on the other bay. Um, what's good is that uh, Viper Tail seems to be matching the color of the launcher and the bottom of the launcher and the ripcord that Leon Claw comes with. It's this dull gold color. Let's do this. Oops. Try that again. And Oh. 
impressive. Let's try against uh, Sword Drawn. Do uh, Dragodon. Okay. It's like Dagger Dawn. Finally, I'm going to have it go up against the OG Dronzer. And Dronzer wins. So I think both of these bays are pretty tough. There hasn't been a bad Beyblade X bay so far from Takara. Even against the more aggressive bays, sometimes it seems to be able to repel them well enough to knock them out. They're out of the stadium or into one of the bottom two pockets. It's a sick design as well uh, for the blade. Uh, I like the color. Uh, this is a nice uh, gold color or as close to gold as you can get with colored Plastic, obviously, uh, there's some orange uh, translucent uh, plastic underneath here. I like the blue, uh, shiny plastic here. Obviously, since it's not paint plastic, there's gonna be some marbling. I really like the design, this defensive tip, the way it looks at least. Please like this video, and if you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, that's it for my review. Bye.